Okay, Assalamualaikum. So, this is the uh, video presentation for Chapter 8, Service Costing, which is also the last chapter in uh, paper MAF 151. Okay, so as usual, before we begin, please make sure in front of you, you already have your past years for uh, when we do our exercise later on and also your textbooks. Uh, for your additional reference. So what is uh, service costing? It is a cost accounting method concerned with establishing the costs of services rendered or cost of providing a service. Okay, so far what we have learned in MAH 151 from chapter 1 until um, chapter 7, job and batch costing, we assume that the business is of manufacturing services, meaning that uh, the company has inventory, uh, a tangible inventory in which they produce and sell to their customers. But there are some in business, there are some businesses which uh, do which do not have stock, or which which they do not manufacture their own product to sell to the customer. Instead they provide services to their customer. So, example of service industry includes transport, business, hospital, education, hotel, and more. So, uh, more meaning that uh, like audit firm, like accounting firms, business consultant, uh, architecture, uh, interior design consultant. Okay. So, the characteristic of comp service companies are one, the product are intangible service, something that cannot be seen, cannot be touched. Okay, and the quality varies, yeah? meaning that for quality from one service to another, different based on the uh, person that deliver the services. Okay, so for example, like a barber, the one who cut off, cut your hair, the barber. So perhaps uh, one barber product, sorry, one barber output is different than another barber's output. Okay, an output is difficult to measure. So how can you measure an output that a barber produce? Okay, because of the variability of the output itself. Uh, service cannot be stored as inventory. So this is another main difference between the manufacturing business with the service business. Because if we are a manufacturing business, we can produce more and more and then for any unsold item, we can uh, store it as inventory to be sold in the future. But uh, for service industry, if the st staff or if the worker is not there, uh, is not um, available to provide the service, then we lose our sale for that particular day and cannot, cannot be deferred or cannot be stored for future sales. Uh, service produced are uh, usually consumed immediately. It's the same point as service cannot be stored as in inventory. Price variation occurs in many situations. Yeah? For example, like uh, a barber. Like maybe if you opt for a simple cut for your hair, then you may have a certain range of prices. But if you add more uh, services, for example, you want to wash your hair, you want to uh, treat your hair, or whether you want to color your hair, so the price will vary uh, according to the services being rendered to you. And of course, because you are a service base, so your sales depend on your customer, uh, it depends on your staff, on your workers. So of course, your labor cost will become very high. So there are two types of service industry. One is a tangible service. The other one is intangible service. For example, like if I'm involved in a restaurant or catering businesses, it's considered as a service business, but uh, the product that the service that we provide to our customer can be seen and touched, for example, like food, or even like, for example, you are a, an accounting firm, okay? You can see the product produced by the accounting firm, which is the final report itself. But if you are an 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 education, yeah, an an education uh, business, 
or even a business consultant or even um, a transportation business so how can you see uh, the product being produced uh, it's not tangible before you can start calculating uh, your service costing the first thing you need to identify is your cost unit okay we need to know how do we measure our cost based on what because we cannot see our product if we if we are a manufacturing company we can say that our cost unit is per unit that we produce but if you are in a, in in an education industry for example how do you measure your cost you, you do not have the specific cost unit so you need to be able to identify the most suitable cost unit before you can calculate your service costing okay so for example that if you are a transportation company you can uh, use ton per mile or kilogram per kilometer if you are transporting goods yeah but if you are transport if you are a bus for example a taxi uh, bus company then you might choose kilometer traveled or kilometer per passenger okay and for education the cost you need here it can be uh, attendance per day cost offered per semester workload per day okay uh, if you were a, hosp a hotel then number of guests per day occupied bed uh, to per day per day it's not two days per day hospitals you can say the occupied bed, bed per day number of rounds doctor made per day number of operation so on and so forth here yeah? so the the rule of thumb for cost unit is that it might it must be uh, standardized it can be used in any kind of situation and and it is universal it's universal either you either you have passenger a or passenger b or passenger c or if the passenger go further or shorter distance you can still use that cost unit then it is deemed to be the most suitable cost unit so cost center uh, is the garage depot yeah? the 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 office driver we need that if i want to assign cost what is my cost center uh, which cost center incur more costs yeah? for example like if you are a bus company then your cost center can be by states or it can be by the driver itself yeah? so let's say a driver goes to three or four trips per day or maybe like 30, 50 trips per, per month then each driver can be considered as cost center okay uh, for education the cost center can be for based on faculties yeah what is the cost center based on faculties or perhaps based on programs like dia or or dice yeah what is the cost center we, we can assign costs according to each of the cost center and what are the example of fixed costs you can read on your own here in, in the slides and also you can read from your textbook yeah uh, which i i've taken it already from the textbook okay so let's do some pass here to make it easier uh, we go first to june 2019 sea hat fitness center is offering services to train people to get healthy and fit the following data is related to the cost for the month of March 2019. So, a business of offering uh, people to use or to, to, to use your gym is a service-based business. And then the question gives you all of this info, uh, information about the uh, fitness instructor salary, okay, how much to be paid for the admin, administrative staff, and how many fitness instructor and admin staff do you have? Number of trainee, now rental, tower, depreciation, utilities, and refreshment. So they ask you to evaluate the total cost per trainee for the month of March 2019. Okay. So it's a simple, simple question. You just have to total out all of the costs. Yeah. So I accept both answers. Either you calculate that in total first, and then you divide by 30 trainees. Or you find each of the costs in the per trainee units I accept both answers okay so if you decide to calculate the total cost first uh, then you should get a total cost of 15,150 so you just times with the uh, six instructor 
uh, for three staffs, put in the rental, the towel for each of the trainee, the depreciation, the utilities, refreshment, telling it per trainee. And then you total up, and then you divide by 30 trainees, you should get 405 ringgits. Or you want to leave it as per trainee here, but here you want to divide by the 30 trainees. Also acceptable. Yeah. But for the fitness instructor and administrative, you need to total up this first, then divide by 30, you should get 280. Okay, next we go to December 2018. Um, moreover, Meow provides pet settings for services. Uh, the business takes care of the pet while their owner are out of town or busy. However, the business is just for the cats. Uh, each cat owner is charged 10 ringgit per cat and then they give you the information for the month of December 2018. Okay, evaluate the total profit gained by the company for the month of December 2018. So they give you everything you needed to know on how to calculate the cost for the month of December. Okay, so you have 55 cats for the month of December. So you just times with 55 cats. And then you have 4 staffs or 4 workers. Now with 4, put in all the costs. You get a total cost of 4775. So you 7, 4775. And then the question asks for a profit. So you need to find your revenue first. You have 55 cats. Per cat you charge 100 ringgit. So you have a sales of 5500 ringgit. And you have a net profit of 725 ringgit for the month of December. Yeah, simple. Next, we go to June 2018. Arfadobi runs 24 hours self service laundry outlet located in Ipo. It operates seven days per week. The business has six units of washing machine and five units of dryers. Uh, the standard capacity of laundry for washing machine and dryer are 6 kg and 5 kg per load, respectively. Average weight for, of laundry per week for each washing machine and laundry is 420. It means that uh, total laundry per week for washing machine is 420 and total average weight per week for dryer is also 420. And then they give you the information regarding to the higher purchase of washing machine and dryers, the maintenance cost for washing machine and dryers, all of your uh, consumable uh, inventory such as supplies, utilities, rental of building, Wi-Fi, internet, subscription. And then they give you also how much you charge per load for washing machine and for dryer. And then they ask you to calculate the operating profit at the operating cost and profit for the month of July. Okay, so you put in first the sales. Okay? So you have two sources of revenue, one from your washing machine and the other one is from your dryers. Okay, so they say that per week, uh, the, the total loads, uh, the total kilogram per week for washing machine is 420 kilogram. And it stated that uh, the, for one machine, okay, for one, uh, for one load, for one load, uh, we can put six kilogram. So if we divide four twenty, divide by six kilogram, so we have seventy loads per machine. Seventy loads per machine, yeah, because the sales is charged per load, yeah. So for one week, for one machine, one week for one machine, the the total loads is seventy loads per machine. So I have six machines, so it times by six machine. And this is for one week, so we have four weeks because I want to know the uh, cost statement for the month of June. Uh, so you times with four weeks, and you times with the uh, revenue for for per load. So you get eight thousand four hundred six seven two zero. You get fifteen thousand one hundred and twenty of total revenue. Okay, the rest is 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 okay. is just as the questions stated where you just times with the six machine, five dryers, six machine, five dryers, and then you have four, uh, four weeks, yeah, four weeks here. Yeah. Put in the utilities, rental, building, and Wi-Fi internet subscription. This is already in, in monthly basis, yeah, so you don't have to time with four weeks. And then you get a total profit of five to seven, zero. Okay. So that's the end of service costing. Uh, I will upload the key answer uh, in the Google Classroom as well. So please do 
uh, both of the please look uh, please do all of the past years before you go for your quiz two. Okay, so I end my session with Wabillahi Taufiq Wahidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.